separation of substances introduction pure substances are either elements or compounds they are rarely found in pure form in the nature they have one or more substances mixed with them either as an impurity or intentionally mixed for particular application for example air is essential for all human beings to breathe it consists of oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide dust and water vapor etc dust carbon dioxide water vapor etc except oxygen are considered as impurities steel is a mixture of iron and carbon carbon is actually mixed with iron to form steel that is used to make building materials cars machines and tools etc these mixtures are usually classified on the basis of state of the substances present in the mixture if a mixture consists of more than one solid substance the resulting mixture is called solid mixture for example a mixture of iron and carbon in steel a mixture of sugar and salt etc a mixture of more than one liquid substance is called liquid mixture for example mixture of milk and water mixture of oil and water etc mixture of more than one gases is called gaseous mixture for example atmospheric air is a mixture of many gases apart from these there are many solid liquid liquid gas and solid gas mixtures and there are various methods of separation of substances from these mixtures the various methods which are used to separate either impurities or desired substance from a mixture is further discussed types of mixture on the basis of components present in them mixture can be of two types homogeneous mixture in this mixture the components forming the mixture are uniformly distributed throughout the mixture we get the same amount of each component in different samples of the mixture for example air sugar water solution steel etc are homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture in this mixture the components forming the mixture are not uniformly distributed in the mixture but has different amounts of each component in different sample of the mixture matter is unequally distributed throughout the mixture for example sand mixed nuts gravel etc are heterogeneous mixture need of separation we use many substances in pure form such as rice dal water etc in our daily life while there are many mixtures which are desirable and undesirable for human beings so the undesirable components must be removed from the mixture so that we can make the mixture or component in our use some important reasons of separation are remove undesirable components we remove husk dirt soil from grains filter normal water before using them we actually remove the unwanted materials from the mixture and use rest of the mixture obtain desirable substances fractional distillation of petroleum crude oil is done to obtain petrol diesel kerosene wax etc these are all desirable substances which are used as fuel in car bikes buses etc we also extract normal salt from sea water methods of separation the method of separation of substances from solid mixtures is different from the methods used to separate substances from solid liquid or liquid liquid mixtures firstly we will learn the methods of separation in solid mixtures the various methods are winnowing wind winnowing is a method developed by people in ancient times for separating grain from chaff it is also used to remove weevils and other pests from stored grain winnowing is the method in which heavier components of mixture are separated from the lighter components with the help of wind 
This method is used for separating grains from husk after the process of threshing. Advantage This method does not require any machines for its functioning. It is completely done by manpower. It takes less time to process and is very cost effective. Disadvantage This method is mainly used to remove relatively lighter impurities from the grains. So, impurities heavier than grains cannot be removed by this process. Hand picking Hand picking is a method to separate slightly larger impurities like pieces of dirt, stones, and husk from wheat, rice, and pulses, etc., by hand. It is the simplest method of separation of substances. This method is used only when unwanted materials are present in small quantity. Moreover, shape, size, or color of the unwanted material may be similar or different from that of the useful materials. It is one of the various methods which are carried out in dry conditions. Advantage Relatively big and heavy impurities can be separated easily by hand in this process. In case of large quantity of mixture to be separated, this is performed after winnowing. Disadvantage This is very time-taking process. Threshing Threshing is the process of separating edible part of crops from the husks and straw. Actually, when the crop is harvested from the field, the grain or cereals are attached with the plant's parts such as leaves, husk, straw, etc. These parts are separated from the grains by threshing method. Threshing is done by using a thresher machine. Earlier, threshing was done manually by beating the stalk of crop on the stone. Sieving The method of separation of impurities from mixture based on the difference in size of impurities is known as sieving. In this method, different mesh-sized sieves are used. Mixture is placed in the sieve and sieve is shaked off by hands. The mixture is separated out through the sieve. Advantage Sieving is a traditional and simple method of separation since it does not require much of your skills. It is a cheap method as the installation cost is very low. It takes lesser time in comparison to other methods of separation. Disadvantage Two substances of same size cannot be separated by this process. For example, mixture of chalk powder and wheat flour cannot be separated by this process. Magnetic separation Iron gets attracted towards a magnet. If you move a magnet over a mixture of iron filings and sand, the iron particles cling to the magnet. Sand is not attracted and so it is left behind. A method in which a magnet is used to separate the magnetic impurities from a mixture is called magnetic separation. You would have seen your mother sieving wheat flour before kneading in the kitchen. In the same way, you can separate substances of different size using different mesh framed sieves. Make a mixture of wheat flour, salt, sugar and dal at home with the help of your mother. Now, separate each things from the mixture by using different mesh framed sieves and notice whether all the things can be separated by sieving method or not. Take a sample of sand from the garden. Put a sample on the paper. Now, take a magnet and hold it in your hand. Move your hand over the sample. You will see some iron particles cling to the magnet. Thus, magnetic materials can be removed by magnetic separation method. Consider some heterogeneous solid-liquid mixtures in which the solvent is either water or any liquid substance and solute is insoluble in solvent. The insoluble substances can be removed from solvent by using various methods. Some of the important methods are sedimentation and decantation. Insoluble substances which are heavier than water can be separated by sedimentation and decantation. Sedimentation is the process in which heavier particles of an insoluble solid 
in a liquid settle down. The particles that settle down form the sediment. Decantation is the process of pouring out the liquid into the other vessel without disturbing the sediment. If a solid dissolves in a liquid, decantation cannot be used to separate them. Filtration To separate tea leaves from tea, we pour the tea through a strainer which is a wire or a plastic mesh. The tea leaves are left behind in the strainer and the tea filtered through the strainer and collected under it. This process is known as filtration. The strainer acts as a filter. The same strainer cannot be used to separate mud from water. The particles of mud are too fine and will pass through the holes. For this, we need a fine filter. A filter paper can be used for this purpose. Perform an experiment to separate a mixture of sand and water by sedimentation and decantation method. Half fill a beaker with water and mix a little sand in it. Allow the mixture to stagnate for a few minutes. The heavier sand particles will settle down at the bottom of the beaker as sediment. Carefully pour the water into another beaker using a glass rod. Do not disturb the sand at the bottom. Take some muddy water in a beaker. Take a circular piece of filter paper and fold it twice. Open it out to make a cone shape. Place the filter paper cone in a funnel. Keep a beaker below the funnel. Pour the muddy water slowly into the cone using a glass rod. Filtered water flows down the funnel and collects in the beaker. Take out the filter paper cone and open it out. Mud particles are seen on the filter paper. Compare the filter paper with the water obtained by decantation. Which one is clearer? Decanted water will still have fine particles of sand floating around but filtered water is free from solid impurities. Evaporation You must have seen water being boiled in the kitchen at home. As the water boils, it gets converted into steam that escapes out of the utensil into the air. If the water is made to boil continuously, after some time all the water will turn into vapour and disappear. The change of liquid into gaseous state is called evaporation. Evaporation is also used to separate mixtures specially when the solid is dissolved in the liquid. Evaporation takes place in nature all the time wherever water exists. Your clothes dry up after washing due to the process of evaporation. The salt that we use at home comes from the sea water and is separated from the sea water by evaporation. Large shallow pits near the seashore are made and are filled with sea water. During the course of time, sea water evaporates and the pits are covered with salt that is left behind. This salt is then collected, cleared and mixed with iodine salts before it is packed and supplied to the market. Distillation Distillation is a method of separating liquids of different boiling points by evaporating and condensing the mixture. In this method, the liquid solution is heated so that the liquid evaporates. The vapours formed is then condensed to convert it in liquid state. A special apparatus is used in the laboratory to get distilled water. Suppose the salt and water is to be separated from salt water solution. If we evaporate the water, we may get only the salt and the water may be lost as vapour. So, distillation method is used so that we can get salt and water separately without any loss of water. In this method, put the salt water solution, brine solution, in a flask. Heat the flask with a burner. When the steam starts forming, it flows up and passes through the large tube connected at the top of the burner. Cold water that passes through the tubes around the large tube takes the heat of the steam. Thus, steam condenses into water and stored in the conical flask connected on the other side of the large tube. Thus, 
we get the salt in the flask and water in the conical flask separately churning the process of obtaining butter from the milk or cream is called churning in this method the milk or cream is rotated continuously with skimmers to produce butter as butter is lighter than milk and cream it floats over the milk or cream it is then taken out from milk or cream and thus we get butter from milk churning is done either manually or driven by electric motor